So when you get older, I think you get really averse to the idea of wasting time on anything or admitting that you actually really want to do something. So it's not uncommon for somebody to pick up an instrument or a paintbrush uh, in their late 30s, early 40s, their 50s or whatever and start kind of painting or playing guitar or whatever it is as a hobby. But that happens all the time. Um, but you usually won't see that same person try to exhibit their paintings or play in a band. Because uh, that requires like admitting that you want more out of this thing. But it also requires a kind of um, self-awareness that if you've just started doing something, you're not going to be very good at it. So if you start, well, if you do what I'm doing, you start making music at 41, let's go through all the things that you're not going to be good at it. Like, you're not used to writing music. You don't know anything about scales, harmonies, tuning, whatever. Um, maybe you barely know what a bar is. Um, who knows how well trained your ear is for like the idea of, you know, harmony or whatever that is. And, um, and then there's like a physical learning curve. So like if you start picking up a guitar, uh, that's a very physical activity. You have to like figure out how to use your hands in ways that you're not used to. If you pick up the drums, you really have to figure out ways of using your body in ways that just don't make sense and are counterintuitive. Uh, I am lucky in that I just tap out things on a phone and then react to them. So, a whole bunch of excuses. And it's gonna take a long time to get good at the thing, right? But whatever. But here's the thing, and I think it's the thing that doesn't get discussed enough. As someone who's older with love for something, you might be able to get good at it really fast if you double down on the parts that you're going to be good at. So I have a theory. I could be misguided or totally delusional. But I think that when I'm composing music, I'm about to get barked at. Let's see. What's up, little guys? So I think that when I'm composing music, that I have an ear. Um, so... I'll hit a note and immediately just think like, ugh, doesn't sound right. Or I'll get a sound that's sort of in the neighborhood of what I want. And then I'll, um, I'll start, to, start to sculpt and mold that and get it to this point where I'm excited about it. I think anybody can do that. I mean, I shouldn't say that. It's probably not true, but I think, like, where does that come from? Well, I've been a music lover my entire life. I've been someone who probably pays an unusual amount of attention to the way that things sound. You know, like I can think about listening to the last Unwound record, not the last one, the second to last Unwound record, and the way that Sarah Lund plays hi-hats. You know, that stuff sticks in my head for whatever reason different things like that. I think that works to my advantage when it comes to making music. There's like a vast reference library. So I think someone who loves painting can start painting tomorrow. And even though they're gonna have a huge gap between what they love and what they're capable of, I think there's a way to own it and move forward and make progress faster. And what I think that difference lies in is using your ear or using your eye or your emotions or whatever to make what you're capable of as great as it can be. Now that seems really obvious, so let's break that down a little bit more. What I mean to say is when I sit down and make music, I don't start out with much of an idea in my head. Very loosely, I might think, oh, I want to make something heavy, but that doesn't last very long. 
uh, today the halogram that I wrote. I just knew I was going to start with a bass line, and I was kind of thinking about um, that uh, Chase and Status song, Saxon, which uses like long notes and then a repetitive wub wub kind of sound. And then the notes just change, but the rhythmic part of it is the same throughout. That was a loosely, that was like a strategy for getting started. It's not at all what I ended up with. So what ends up happening is I work and then I respond to whatever I've made. I don't, in general, compare it to anything. I don't compare it to my intent at all. Meaning, yeah, roughly, Chase and Status is kicking around in the back of my head, but I'm not trying to make that song. If I were trying to make that song, I don't think I'd be nearly as productive. But instead what happens is that long history of paying a lot of attention to music, I think means that when I react to the decisions that I'm making, I think I make good decisions. I think you could argue the same for a painter. So someone who has a love of painting, if they sit down tomorrow and try to be Renoir, Vermeer, Takeshi Murakami, whoever, Joan Mitchell, whatever it is, I think that that gap between what they're capable of right now and what they're aspiring to is wide and is not going to be crossed for a long time. But I think that same person, they just sat down and then began to play with the materials and then use that eye that they've developed, that eye for composition, color, texture, story, whatever it might be, scale, tone. If they make moves, and then respond to those moves, I think that their ability to progress will be much faster than if they immediately try to do greatness in however that's defined. And I think that is how you win. If you're gonna start something when you're older and you wanna be serious about it, that's how you're gonna make a real contribution because like when you're 41 as I am you don't have time for learn the rules and then break them that's like that's a young man's game as they say like you do that you better start at like 14 18 20 something like that so that by the time you hit 32 you can reinvent yourself and make that work that's going to be like the legacy whatever it is you're going to build off of that's going to be your original contribution i am sorry but i do not have until i'm 53 to make an original contribution and i can't get the 10,000 hours in to do that um you know because that's what i'm using roughly as the point at which you get there is that you know eight hours a day ten years or four hours a day ten years I don't got that I got 30 out I got 30 minutes three times a week max so the way that I'm gonna get there the way that I'm gonna get good the way that I'm gonna make that original contribution is work react and know that I have a massive education in music rattling around if I choose to acknowledge that it's there, if I choose to own the idea of my instincts are probably good. So if you're older and you're starting something, look, if you're trying to make a Vermeer, you're probably gonna be massively disappointed, but if you start playing and then trusting that you giving a shit about painting for the last 20 years, that's gonna lead you somewhere. And then it's like, a, own where you're at. 
so yeah like you're not gonna be the best painter or the best filmmaker or the best photographer but take what you are capable of and then lean on those instincts that you do recognize good work and I think you'll progress a million times faster all right thanks a lot for watching if you got a question or comment of course leave it